New York is sinking some parts faster than others, according to a new study just released by a team of NASA and Rutgers researchers. So how concerned should we be? Sharon Crowley talked to one of the scientists behind the study and has more from Queens. We do see some spots along the coast that are sinking quite a bit faster than others. NASA scientists believe parts of New York City are sinking, albeit ever so slowly, fractions of inches per year. Still, something scientists are watching closely. We have found that there are some spots that are sinking much faster than others. And this, is, of course, makes makes flooding concerns of, of greater of greater concern in, in certain areas. Brett Bazanga is an Earth scientist at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and he's one of a team of researchers that analyzed the upward and downward vertical land motion in the New York City metropolitan area from 2016 to 2023. He says basically parts of the city are built on landfill, and those are sinking the fastest. Those areas include the Holland Tunnel, Arthur Ashe Stadium in Queens, the southern part of Governor's Island, Battery Park City, and LaGuardia Airport. There's um, there's some landfill that we that some sites have been built on, including parts of LaGuardia Airport, and these are these we see sinking a bit faster. We also see that the Arthur Ashe Tennis Stadium is sinking quite fast, and we know a few years ago that they had to have a special roof built because they knew about this problem. So it's a very nice light cloth roof that they use there. Scientists hope this information can help city planners, especially when it comes to flooding. I think the key takeaway here is that not everywhere is, is sinking at the same rate. And so really being able to devote resources and being able to just kind of know these different areas and how they're, how they're changing in relation to, to one another is a way that, that resources can be allocated uh, in, in an efficient way. Well, in case right about now you're wondering why this is happening at all, scientists tell me it's really a combination of what we can control and what we can't. Human behavior and natural forces dating back to the Ice Age. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.